It is done. Can I go and see my mother now? Only the Grand Inquisitor may say. But you told me. My words are of no importance. Only those of the Grand Inquisitor. But be sure, you are very precious to him indeed. been on Episangri's duty. When's it gonna end, eh? Soon. The hour of the conjuration approaches. But think of Vitalis. Your ordeal is nothing compared to his. Sanguis is decreasing. Our harvesters are being decimated by the rats. Do your best. The life of the Grand Inquisitor depends on the quality of the distillate. The body of the Grand Inquisitor is overwhelmed by the bite. I fear it will now attack his mind. Don't worry. The boy's blood will restore the power to equilibrium. May his soul emerge unscathed. Captain. Ad Lucam. is thickening. It will soon be necessary to change the filters and scrape the tanks. Twenty barrels. We have almost reached the objective. I hope so, because that's all we'll be able to produce. It is already a miracle that Vitali's body can take such quantities of Episanguis. His faith protects him. It protects us all. be on the square in front of the cathedral. Oh, so you'll be right next to the Grand Inquisitor when he frees us. And I'll be stuck here. We'll all meet again afterwards. The end of the bite. It's going to be quite a party.
Now! I demand to see Vitalis now! The Grand Inquisitor is very busy. Busy? I am the Archbishop. I represent the Pope! Monseigneur, the mission of the Grand Inquisitor is sacred. His mission was never approved by the Church. I see here only heresy and occultism. And you, you all follow him on this infernal road. Measure your words, Excellency. Your rank should make you more cautious. <laughs> we had... Sh shut up! Shut <laughs> up! Magister, the text clearly mentions the ascension of a child during the Great Plague of Justinian. I knew it. The Roman nobles isolated him from the people and worshipped him in secret. Maybe an ancestor of Hugo de Rune. Continue. They're talking about me. By freeing the country from the bite, the Grand Inquisitor will gain the adoration of the people, and with it, unprecedented political power. Archbishop Gautier's presence here says a lot. The Pope's court is worried, and so they should be. Serves them right for not intervening... The Prima Macula, on the cusp of the first threshold, devours the lost carrier, or walks beside the one who tames it, Master or slave, order or chaos. Beatrice de Rune's research texts How are all coded. Sure? I give up. I have some good news. They finally moved her to the basement. So she's going to crack. About time. Mommy. Trista Rune's research texts are all coded. I give up. I have some good news. They finally moved her to the basement. So she's going to crack. About time. Mommy. You see, Amicia, I found Mommy. Grand Inquisitor, the Archbishop has arrived. Perfect. 
Bring him in. Vitalis. Monseigneur Gautier, I trust your journey went well. Now spare me your niceties. We grow tired of your little game, Vitalis. A game, Archbishop? <laughs> Can a game change the future of the world? Listen to yourself. You have completely lost your mind. And all this is... Uh, if I may. It's important. We have the blood of Hugo de Rune. Have you tested it? Yes. Uh, alas, Monseigneur. The boy should have reached the first threshold already, but it seems something in his blood has slowed the process. The macula is still in its original state. No matter. If the books are correct, my blood and his will be bound. When he reaches the next threshold, I shall reach it with him. That's enough. You play the martyr. But allow me to tell you the truth. You are a vile heretic driven mad by power. The Pope considers you a threat. Vitalis Benevon. You are to be excommunicated. One can excommunicate a man, Archbishop. <laughs> but not a saint. Your inquisition is over. Meaning that a new era commences. One where puppets such as yourself will kneel and beg me to save them. Is with us. Very good. Go and see whether Beatrice Doreen has regained consciousness. 